Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. This is a place to inspire and to be inspired. Today we're going to be doing a little mini makeover on the master bedroom and bathroom. I have a couple plans for this. Mostly in this video we're going to be doing paint and then a little drywall. There are some old towel racks in the bathroom, two of them actually, that I want to remove and an old toilet paper holder which I would also like to remove. So that's the goal for this video is to get those two things accomplished. And I picked up a couple paint samples from Lowe's. I wanted to do a sage green and this was the lighter shade. Yes, I'm using a sock to apply this. It was just available and I couldn't find a brush. And then, oh, just kidding. This is the lighter shade. The top one was the darker shade. I ended up telling Kyle that I wanted the bottom shade. And then in case anyone's wondering, this is what the top shade was called. We're heading to Lowe's. I need to get some texture spray because I'm going to try to rip out that old towel bar and I think we have stuff to patch it in the garage. I'm just going to look through what we have. Actually, I should do that before I go to Lowe's because if we don't have it, then I need to buy some. Anywho, I got some blood work done today because I think I mentioned briefly in a previous video that I have high cholesterol and so last time I got all my blood checked was like over a year ago. I have a new doctor and we're checking that out just to make sure everything's okay. The appointment was at 11.55 and I had to fast, so I'm starving. And I picked up some crisp and green. I think I may go to Crumble Cookie and get a cookie as a little treat. It's probably why I have high cholesterol, but. The way this video is going to be pieced together, it's going to be very random and it's going to be over a period of time. And I'm going to do things in the video, it might seem like it's out of order, but I promise it'll make sense. I also wanted to show you guys the treat that I got. I wanted to get crumble cookie and then I told myself I should find a better substitute and then I got these from Sprouts. They're really good. They're the Mexican shortbread cookies. because I was talking to my dad and I'm trying to do this project while Kyle is out of town because I don't know I just like doing stuff like this and then being like surprise I did it by myself so I was asking my dad about it and I my plan was just to like take off the old towel rack and then put this down and then my dad was like no you should put a piece of drywall in the hole because it's gonna leave a big hole because of the way that the old towel racks were done. So we had some drywall in the garage. This is my first time repairing a hole, so we are going to do this together, and obviously it's gonna turn out great because you're watching this, so. Step one is just going to be removing these. I think I'm gonna use a blade and try to cut around and then see if I can get this in there and then hammer it. That's gonna be my first plan of action. The new plan is to cut into the drywall and then cut out the entire square and then just pull it out. not one more to go. There are three, four, five more to go. Three more of these and then a toilet paper holder. Yeah. So now I'm just going to clean this out so that I can cut out a piece of drywall and make it fit in this little area flush. So now I'm going to cut out a piece of drywall just big enough to like fit in here. So 
very tight space in here. Oh, is this stuff supposed to be sticky because it's not sticky? I have to leave for work in an hour and I already sanded this down mostly the edges and then just trying to get this smooth so my plan is to spray it on and then wipe away the residue instead of taping everything off might be a bad idea but This smoothie has been my go-to lately since I'm trying to be a little healthier and incorporate more vegetables and fiber into my diet. I use a half a cup of rolled oats, a big scoop of peanut butter, maybe about a cup of water, frozen berries, and then also spinach. And I mix it in the Nutribullet and pour it in a glass and that's it. It is delicious. Highly, highly recommend. later I think I did the first towel rack like two weeks ago now and now I need to remove this one and then I also want to remove this toilet paper holder now we're just going to do the same thing we did to the other one but now I have experience so we're going to cut around it and then pop it out and then fill it a lot easier than the first one and I'm a firm believer in clean as you go so we're gonna clean up before we do the next step that is not budging well, we'll just continue on without removing that because I can't do it. Nope. I think I let that dry and then do another layer. I figured while that's drying, I will start to paint this wall. I don't know if I'm gonna love it, but I really hope I do because I wanted it to be really close to the color of the sheets and I wanted a very monochrome look. So we'll see how it goes. My plan with this is to do all of the cutting in first and then go through the roller after. 
at the last minute, I decided to go back to Lowe's and pick up the darker shade of green, and I'm really glad that I did. The more I looked at the swatches, the more I felt like the lighter shade just didn't match the vibe I was going for. It was lighter than the sheets, and I wanted a very monochrome green that matched the color of the sheets. So I'm really happy with the results having the darker shade of green. I don't think I would have been as happy if I went with the lighter shade. So I think I made the right move going back to Lowe's and picking up the darker shade. So I did most of the cutting in up until where I could reach and then I went around the window. I'm not going to do the inside of the window here. I'm just going to leave it the way it is because my curtains are going to be covering most of that and it's just extra work that I don't want to do. So before anyone says anything, I know it looks thick, but I'm gonna sand it down and I promise once I spray on the texture spray, you'll never know. So I have 120 grit sandpaper and I'm just gonna sand it down, but I'm gonna focus more on the outside. I know there's gonna be people who watch this and they're like, she's doing it wrong. This isn't a tutorial, this is just how I'm doing it. And as long as it gets the job done, I think it's fine. I'm just figuring it out as I go. Okay, I found a sanding block in the garage, so I think this will be more efficient. So now we get to paint, and then we'll be done with the bathroom for now. I don't think I need that much. And I already ordered a bunch of stuff off of Amazon. I got new light for the bathroom, a new faucet, new pull tabs, a new shower curtain rod. What else did I get? I got some random stuff. And I'm sticking with the same paint color because if I wanted to change the paint color, I would have to move this vanity out of the way. Since it's a gray and a lot of the other things I have, like the fixtures, they're gonna be warm toned. I would like to do a different color other than the gray, but it's what's already here. And I think it would just be too much work to change the color and then have to paint the entire bathroom. This is gonna be good enough for now and I'll just incorporate more warm tones to make the gray work in this space. It doesn't look like the same color. It actually looks too dark, but we'll see when it dries. I really hope it's the same color. So I painted the bathroom green. It was not planned, but while I was doing the gray, it didn't match the original color on the walls because I was hoping to just not have to paint the whole bathroom and then touch up the spots that I patched. And it was a shade darker of a gray. So since I have that extra quart, I figured I might as well just go all out with the monochrome green. I do like it a lot, but it was not expected. I didn't plan on painting the whole bathroom green. And for part two of this series, I'm going to be doing new light fixtures, one for the bathroom and one for the bedroom. I'm also gonna be doing new drawer handles and a new faucet and just little accessories in the bathroom. And then also for the bedroom, I'm going to buy fabric and sew some copper rust color pillow covers for the tan pillows that I already have in the bed. So if you wanna see how everything kind of ties in together, stay tuned for next week when I post part two.